Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're checking out a brand new Jurassic World release. Today we got a Wild War release, and it's Nitrosaurus. Let's look around the front of the box. It's an avatar icon. He's image with numbers of aggression. He's blue and beta. Jurassic World logo. There's Wild Raw and his name Nitrosaurus. It's on Tracker's brand. Who is in the box? It's back of the box. It's coming just a figure in action. It's like activate its levels of aggression. It's logo again. It's a fax affirmation. In the three other dinosaurs that part wave two of the Wild Wars. It's has an icon. We activate its levels of aggression, it makes sound effects. Now let's take out of the box and have a better look around it. Here it is out of the box, and you can see it in two pieces. Now let's have to take a look around this figure. And here is the tail attached. And you can see the green dinosaur. With a light green head, neck, front legs, and top of its back. And dark green along its body. And dark green highlights on its neck. Let's look around the figure now. Back legs move like this. Same with the front ones. Move to the side like this. Same on the other side. To activate the levels of aggression, you slide this one side to side. And the neck moves to this side here, makes a roaring sound, and it moves up. Same on the other side. Unfortunately, you activate its levels of aggression, the mouth doesn't open as it's part of the sculpt. And right here is where the code is located. And there's the code. Unfortunately, we still can't scan it as the facts haven't been updated yet. As you can see on the skull, it has a lot of great details. The figure has some great details to the sculpt. But on top of its head, along its neck, and down its body, as these spiky details which goes to the end of its tail. Even the rest of the body has some nice details like the scales on its legs and its rib cage. It's going to get another brand new species as part of Wave 2. I really like this subtle paint scheme, I think it stands out very well. I think this figure will look really cool as part of the Hammond collection. The dinosaur was fairly small for a sauropod. Fun fact here, it had a wide muzzle filled with more than 500 teeth. It's a shame it has a lot of detail around its mouth and that its jaw is fixed in place. Hope you enjoyed checking this video out. If you have, drop a like, share the video. Hope to see you again soon.